Hey everyone, Jeff Gatz here. In this video, we're going to take a look at the RTOM Moon Gel Workout Pad. So if you're considering buying this practice pad or if you're just simply looking at options, then you've come to the right place. Now, if you're new to my channel, first of all, thank you very much for stopping by. I make drum lessons, music theory lessons, and product reviews like this one. So if you're into that kind of thing, please consider subscribing and liking this video. I would really appreciate that. First, what is the Moon Gel Workout Practice Pad? Well, first and foremost, it's a practice pad for drums. If you've never used a practice pad or if you don't know what that's for, basically practice pads are simply meant to offer a quieter alternative to playing on a real drum. They're useful in situations where you might not have access to your drums or maybe when you need to be quiet simply because you don't want to disturb your neighbors. As for this pad in particular, you'll see that it's a little bit different than your traditional hard rubber practice pad that most manufacturers offer. The Moon Gel Workout Pad is made by a company called Artom. They also make other products like Moon Gel Dampening Pads that are extremely popular, Black Hole Acoustic Drum Practice System, and Quiet Drum Heads and things like that. One thing I should probably mention at this point is that I personally have no affiliation to Artom and I'm not getting paid to make this video. This is just my honest review. So Artom offers their workout pad in two sizes. First, as a seven inch pad with a solid base that can be screwed onto any eight millimeter threaded stand. And second, as a 14 inch pliable pad that's intended to be laid on top of a drum. Both pads were revamped recently to offer a new look and some nice upgraded features. The 14 inch pad costs $44.99 according to the Artom website, and the seven inch pad costs $34.99. You can also find these pads elsewhere, such as on Sweetwater.com, Guitar Center, Musician's Friend, and of course on Amazon. I've also added the links to the description of this video so you can find those easily for yourself. In this video, I'll be focusing on the new seven inch pad, but I also have the older generation that I'll be referencing for comparison. Let's talk about the Moon Gel Pad's features. So practice pads really aren't all that complicated. They typically have some kind of a hard base made from plastic or another hard material um, and a rubber bouncy strike pad on top that's meant to mimic the feel of a drum head. Now with the seven inch moon gel workout pad, it doesn't stray far from this familiar design, but it's unique in a couple of ways that we'll see. First, it features a dark blue strike pad that's attached to a solid plastic base by a thin black rubber sheath. The base includes an eight millimeter thread that allows you to attach it to any eight millimeter threaded stand. And it also has a black rubber base that allows you to put the pad directly on a table or on top of a drum or wherever you want. This base keeps it in place, and it also prevents it from scratching surfaces, which is nice. The pad itself is made from Artom's proprietary moon gel material, which is squishy and absorbs the energy of anything that you hit it with, like your sticks, mallets, your fingers, or whatever. All right, next let's take a look at what I like and what I don't like about this pad. I will say now that there's more that I like than I don't like. First and foremost, Artom calls this a workout pad. So the question is, will it actually give you a workout? I can honestly say yes, yes definitely, and more yes. <laughs> this pad absorbs all the energy from your sticks, so it offers almost nothing in the way of bounces and rebound. After using this pad for a while, you'll notice that your grip gets much stronger and your endurance and speed increases as well. It's kind of like wearing a weighted vest when you're running sprints, you know? Once you take that vest off, you feel like you're as light as a feather and you're really ready to fly. That's exactly what it feels like practicing on this pad. Another thing I like is that this pad is easy on your hands. So typical practice pads tend to be pretty hard and this might not be an issue for everyone, especially perhaps if you play snare in a marching band where your drum head is really tight. But for me, I'm primarily a drum set player and a lot of pads shock my hands. They kind of hurt my hands and wrists. So what's great about the Moon Gel pad is that it's so soft that I find it really doesn't cause any pain no matter how hard you hit it. Additionally, because most practice pads only mimic the feel of a tight snare drum, I don't think they translate very well to playing around your entire drum set, like on toms or like on the side or shank of your hi-hats. So one of the coolest aspects of this pad is that it will improve your ability to play on all surfaces, um, even those that don't offer much rebound, so you can get better at playing around your entire drum set. Another nice thing is that this pad is quiet, and this is obviously true of most practice pads, but I think the Moon Gel pad takes it to another level. You can warm up quietly before a gig off stage without distracting any of the other musicians around you. Uh, you can also practice in a house or an apartment with others around without disturbing anyone. The Artom website even claims that you can practice without waking a sleeping baby. 
Uh, and I actually can 100% vouch for that. I wouldn't practice right next to your child's bassinet or bed, but if you're in the next room over, you're definitely gonna be safe. And if it's not quiet enough for you by default, you can always toss it like a hand towel over it to make it even quieter. Another thing I like about this pad is its appearance. It's a little weird looking, admittedly, with its black and blue color scheme uh, and the see-through gel pad, but that's honestly kind of what I like about it. It doesn't look like any other practice pad, and I think that's cool. Another thing, though, um, about its appearance that I actually really like even more is that it doesn't show dirt. And I think that this is important if you're like me and you like to practice with a cup of coffee on hand at all times. You know, inevitably you're going to spill something on your practice pad. White pads will slowly turn brown and kind of get gross over time. But fortunately, even if you spill something on your um, moon gel pad, it's reflective enough that it won't stain, first of all. And even better, because the pad isn't glued down to the base, you can actually take it apart and clean it that much easier. The last thing I want to mention here is portability. Again, it's only seven inches across, so you can easily put it in a book bag, can fit in the side pocket of a stick bag, and you can easily keep it inside a snare drum case. Um, can really also just be used about anywhere since it has that rubber base that prevents it from scratching surfaces, which is great. All right, so it can't all be good. Let's talk about some of the downsides with this practice pad. One downside of this pad is its durability, but I think that I need to explain this a little bit. So under normal use, I've never had any problem with these practice pads. You know, you can hit it as hard as you want and hit it as hard as you would any other pad and you shouldn't have any problem. However, unlike traditional pads, this one does feature gel, like a gel filling covered by a thin membrane of plastic. So it's entirely possible to pierce it. Uh, and in fact, I actually had to replace my original moon gel pad years ago because I accidentally did poke a hole in it. I don't remember exactly how it happened, but you know, I must've put it in a box with some other things while I was moving or reorganizing. And when I pulled it out later, something had poked a small hole in it. Um, and although it was still usable, it was definitely making my sticks icky and gross, oozing out that gel. So maybe if you're a careful person, this might not be that big of a deal, but it's definitely something to be aware of. Last, I think we need to consider the target audience for this pad. So if you're looking for something that would give you a workout or looking to improve your hand strength and your endurance, then this pad is definitely for you. But you know, frankly, not everyone is looking for that and that's totally okay too. So I don't think that this review would be complete without at least acknowledging that this may not be the, the right pad that works well for practicing all styles of drumming and even all techniques. If you want a pad that mimics a snare drum with that really hard surface or the surface of a ride cymbal or a top of a hi-hat cymbal, then this would not be the pad for you, or at least it probably shouldn't be your primary practice pad. So I guess the question is, do I recommend this pad? And my answer is yes. So in summary, the Artom Moon Gel Workout Pad is affordable, it's portable, high quality, offers a workout and technique development that I don't think any other pad can match. With that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please click the like button and consider subscribing to my channel. And if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos and reviews, please let me know those in the comments. I'd really appreciate that. Thank you for watching.